Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. What it do? What it do? What it do? Man, this is the one and only. As a car bringing you flame, dog pound. You already know. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. You be left in the loop every time your boy drop the word. You feel me? Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Big Brother Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the League Attorney, JL Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Two Rough Sports, Two Rough TV, Kick with Mr. Moss, LC Predator Catcher, JD Black, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, I should be KNOI, holding it down, homie. Holding it down on all these platforms out here, dog pal. The Anger Man Podcast, Corey Holcomb, Charleston White. Black Biden, these individuals hold it down. Leo Muhammad hold it down. And I come before you, to these worthies I bow. And I want to say it in the, in the, in the Arab, Arabic language, saying of peace. As-salamu alaykum. Yo, man, the whole media been trashing y'all king, homie. Y'all king. Y'all king, because you know what? LeBron James, today's king, y'all king, always run away from that smoke. Always run away from accountability, man. Always. All them times they being put out. Oh, I did my job, you know, such, 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 such. Even though I had a broken hand, you know, I did my job. You know, trying to get people fired and carrying on, man. Your boy, hey, man, that's that's y'all, boy. Y'all new generation, like it's old passive aggressive, passive aggressive attitude, no accountability, running away from the smoke, changing narratives. This is this is what y'all like. This is y'all king. And lo and behold, I do not like Stephen A. Smith. Lord, no, I don't like this Stephen A. Smith. But I tell you what, though, Stephen A. Smith cook. He cooked LeBron James on his on his accountability thing. How he tried to, you know, I think got Darvin hand fired after two years, man. And then, man, him and Kevin Durant are coach killers, man. I used to like the Slim Reaper, man. I used to like the Slim Reaper. But the NBA stands for nothing but ass now. Nothing but ass league. Sorry. And run away from accountability. NBA stands for nobody's accountable. Ooh. Ooh. So we're going to play some of this audio from Stephen A. Smith. Lord, like I said, Lord, behold, I don't care. I, right. Stephen A. Smith, no, he be tap dads. But boy, he cooked on this right here. He cooked on this right here. And we about to go in. Here we go. I want you to hear exactly what Stephen A. had to say, and then I'll come back with my comments. LeBron James has to be a topic of discussion, particularly in the aftermath of Darvin Ham being fired as head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers on Friday. I do not like it. I think it's jacked up that Darvin Ham is gone. I think he's been scapegoated. Yep. I'm pissed off about it. Yep. But I'm not surprised by it. But no matter how pissed off I am about it, it was nothing compared to my man, Mike Wilbon. Mike Wilbon, I was with him all weekend. He was furious. Yeah, Mike Wilbon went off on him too, boy. He went off on y'all saying he can't be the king and not be accountable for all them coaches he done got fired. Tried to get uh, Eric Spoelstra to fire. Y'all remember when he bumped into him? Man, Pat Ross should let his ass go right then and there, man. Absolutely furious. Even Kendrick Perkins is rethinking his position on calling LeBron James the GOAT. Because with GOAT status comes accountability. Yep. This is not a ninth coach that LeBron James has had in his 20 year, one year career. He's going to have, he's going to be on his 10th coach. Mm. Now Shaq had 13. Kobe had 10. You know, Jason Kidd had nine. We get all of that. Okay? But look at this right here. LeBron James, Cavaliers, Paul Silas, Brenda Malone as an interim, Mike Brown for five years, Heat with Eric Spolstra. If it were up to LeBron, one could argue that wouldn't have happened because LeBron wasn't hiring Eric Spolstra when he first arrived. Pat Riley just let him know, no, bro, you ain't running this organization. I am. Eric you heard him? You heard him. K 
Cavaliers, Paul Silas, Brandon Malone, Mike Brown. Tried to get Eric Spolster. Then went back to the Cavs. Got David Black fired. Tyrone Lou. Then the Lakers. Luke Walton, but he was trash anyway. Frank Vogel. And now, Darvin Ham. Tell me what that's y'all king. Y'all like that old crap. Ain't going no damn place. And sure enough, Eric Spolster has proven to be one of the great, great coaches in the history of the game. I don't like the fact that he didn't speak up for the brother. That would have been nice. Darvin Ham, two years, take you to the Western Conference Finals. Right. I mean, you would think. You went to the Western Conference Finals last year. This year, you get bounced out of the first round. But both losses were to the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. Which universally recognized. Up to this point, up before Saturday, is the best team in basketball. So I'd have done that. Or I'd have fought for Darvin Ham. But we knew from the time that Anthony Davis spoke out about how discombobulated and disorganized they were following their game two loss in Denver. We knew the days were numbered for Darvin mm. Ham. We knew mm -hmm. that. That's what Anthony Davis did. Did on purpose. You mm. don't say something like that. I don't think that's gonna not that's gonna be a positive reflection on a coach. You know exactly what you were doing. But that's not either here nor there. He learned that passive aggressiveness from his king. From his king. From his king, from his king, from his king. You see Darvin Ham's record right there, 1974 and two seasons, two playoff appearances, one conference finals appearances, two seasons as the Lakers coach. And by the way, last year when he got up to the conference finals, they did most of it primarily without the services of LeBron James during the regular season because LeBron James was hurt for a chunk of games. But that's neither here nor there. Who the Lakers are going to get, what they're going to do moving forward remains to be seen. I'd like to see Mark Jackson get a look. How about that? The man who's been blackballed. For no conceivable, explainable reason. That would be nice. Phil Handy being out as assistant coach. Hell, he came to L.A. because LeBron asked him to come. Mm. And I'm being told the reason the whole coaching staff was going to include him was because, yo, he wasn't bobbing with the narrative that it was a coaching problem. The players were being allowed to run the asylum, per se. And so he's out. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens to him and whether or not he's going to be brought back. Is LeBron going to facilitate that? Why am I asking these questions about LeBron? Because what we got to stop acting. Ladies and gentlemen, is LeBron James worthy of the GOAT conversation or not? I'm, for me, it's MJ all day, every day. But for some of you young whippersnappers, breath smelling like Similac, wet behind the ears, who don't know no damn better, of course you're going to say LeBron James. Fine. Are you willing to concede that if we're having a conversation about who the true GOAT is, that some level of accountability must come with it? When is Man, he ain't trying to hear that Steve A. Smith. Steve A. Smith, he is not trying to hear accountability. What so ever? He is not finna take, he's not finna smoke that blunt. He ain't finna roll that up, man. If that shit come his way, he dodging. I don't know. I'm doing my part. I spent a million dollars by the my year. I know I make good at basketball plays. I'm excellent. I make the perfect basketball play every time. RJ spoken up for coach. Remember how Michael Jordan was like, when Phil's going, I'm going. You ain't get rid of him. Remember how Patrick Ewing used to stick up for Jeff Van Gundy? Remember how Alonzo Morton stuck up for Pat Riley? Remember that? Remember that? Now, I noticed a pattern, and one could easily argue that, you know, the white coaches get stuck up for. We ain't hear about brothers being stuck up for. Okay, that's a different subject for another day. That's not necessarily applicable here, just worth noting from a curiosity standpoint. But here's my point about LeBron James. How can you be on a Mount Rushmore of basketball and be completely innocent at the same time for every coach that gets let go under your watch. How is that possible? And you know what, man? I, man not, not too many brothers like Steve May Smith. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. But we, as, as brothers, look at me like, man, Stephen A., man, you got the tools. You got everything. Why are you with ESPN? Let that shit go, man. Start doing you and just go hard with it. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you could be more, I, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying to uh, clap for you, but man, I, I, Stephen A, do you, you know, I don't know if you burnt a lot of bridges already, but man, you could be so cold on your own because you, you eloquently can speak that thing and you know you have resources. It's just, I, we just want you to just be more homegrown, more soul food with it, be more fair calm with the truth, you feel me? 
Because you way, you way more successful. This is matter you going all in by yourself hard without ESPN like that. You had the viewers. Shit, yeah, man, brother. Yes, you would. I know a lot of buzz don't get off into you. I question you sometimes, but you got good craft. You have good craft. I give you that. And right now, you you roasting LeBron James on this accountability thing. Yo, watch. How is that possible? How? I mean, you listen to Rich Paul and these folks in his camp. Why don't you just put a turban or something around LeBron James and call him Gandhi? Does he do anything wrong? Mm. Does he? You know, when I get a little nervous, I go to the toilet. You see other people do stuff all the time. They pass gas. They burp. Sometimes, not me, but I've been around people who clearly forgot to take a damn shower or prefer not to. They stink. Mm. Or they might take a shower and think their soap is refreshing to everybody else as they may believe it is to them. Don't put on no damn deodorant and they still stink. We're human beings. Happens. Except if you're LeBron James. Ooh. It's never that. Ooh. Never. Coach, come, coach, go. Nothing to do with you. Mm. Rob Palenka, I guess Rob Palenka, running the Los Angeles Lakers, having just won a championship in a bubble, I guess he was the one that said, we really, really want Russell Westbrook here. Oh, we God. we trade away Kyle Kuzma. That was dumb. And Kentavious Caldwell Pope. That was dumb, too. And let Alex Caruso walk out the door to the Chicago Bulls or nothing. I guess that was real dumb, too. Rob Palenka did that. All by himself. LeBron James had nothing to do with it. Anthony Davis had nothing to do with it. Come on, y'all. It's not a crime if you did. The crime is acting like you have nothing to do with these things. Mm. I can tell you this for a fact. Let me tell you something about this woman, Jeannie Buss, the board of governor for the Los Angeles Lakers, part owner. A wonderful woman with a beautiful soul. Let me tell you something about Jeannie Buss. There is nothing more important to her than keeping LeBron James happy. Mm, Absolutely, positively nothing. Not Palika, not any of the players, not any of the coaches. I mean, she does, listen, better not mess with Linda Rampus. Jeannie ain't having that. And damn it, I might fight you too, because I've grown to love Linda. Okay? But that's about the only safe person with Jeannie Buss. No one else is untouchable with her but LeBron James. He gonna get his three-year extension. He gonna get his money. Hell, if he wants them to, they'll grab Bronny. No one else might. Not yet at this I stage wouldn't. point in his career anyway. But grabbing him, putting him in the G League, developing him along the way, would the Lakers do that for LeBron James? In a heartbeat. I'm telling you what I know. They wouldn't hesitate. How is it that you have that kind of influence, but you are innocent Abe when it comes to coaches getting fired? I wonder that too, Stephen A. Smith. I wonder that too, man. He, he cooked on that one, didn't he? Stephen A. cooked on that. Why do y'all king? Why do LeBron keep on face facing accountability? You won't face accountability, y'all. And this is not hate. I hate when people be like, you all, oh, you hate none of it. When we tell the truth, y'all be like, it's hate. Y'all are so many school. Small. Microscopic, homie. Terrible. LeBron James fans. Blind witnesses. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Blind witnesses. Either you're going to get off or you're going to jail. <laughs> oh, man, this is your boy Moose. Do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. That's y'all, King. Peace and bother. Hagrid's people.